True to the first step of the design process, we observed existing designs both within our environment and utilizing our resources, gathering information and formulating ideas of how to approach the challenge at hand. With the five design constraints in mind, we designed and modeled our chair to be unique, functional, durable, and of course sustainable. We also kept the concept of less is more in mind and designed our chair to be portable and easy to assemble. Before work on a full-scale model ever began, a huge amount of time, thought, and energy went into rapid prototyping. Only once we had built, refined, and agreed upon a design that we believed would best exemplify the five design constraints did the full-scale construction begin. The building and testing of the full-scale model was a process in and of itself. Many of the components did not scale up well from our model and had to be compensated for and adjusted. One of the biggest obstacles we encountered was a failure in our largest piece of cardboard due to it being salvaged from the recycling center. While the initial design called for a symmetrical pyramidal backrest and support, we decided that it still served its function and its new asymmetrical shape gave it an aesthetic uniqueness. The testing of a design often proves to be the most critical stage of design and development, as it can and does often hold heavy consequences for the unprepared. At the same time, it can be the most fun and rewarding part to subject your idea to public scrutiny as it promotes individual growth and learning within the individual. Our design was remarkably stable and allowed one to sit comfortably and take his weight off of his feet. The process of solving this design problem has tested our knowledge as students and given us a feeling for being designers.